All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on some of the patch panels of the Metro Mite. Um, as you can see, this panel here, uh, obviously this lower support section is uh, pretty bad. They had riveted in at one point here. Um, and then up in here, you can tell it's been bad and I don't know what happened there. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out this panel from here down, uh, build it into probably about three different pieces because you've got the angle coming up here. Um, then up into here, then this panel, and then obviously the wheel arch. Um, with the Astrovan uh, wheelbase, I'm actually gonna extend the wheel arch about to out here. Um, take some measurements to center the wheel in with the curve of the Metromite fender and basically extend the front end um, probably about three or four inches. Uh, I'm gonna do some measurements and check on that. So let's get started. All right, so the first part is gonna be making uh, templates uh, to cut out and measure. So I always use either uh, these nice priority mail envelopes that you can get for free by going to the post office or any sort of a uh, little bit heavier weight mailers that you have um, so you can template out everything. Obviously with this big of a size, I'm gonna have to be kind of pasting some stuff together to get it to fit. Um, but wanna come out with a template and then obviously do the addition uh, for the wheel arch. So what I'm just doing now is writing some notes. Um, this top piece, I'm obviously gonna cut that off. Um, this template actually fit, or the cardboard fit pretty good. Um, actually I actually had to bend over on this side, which is where the sheet metal bends, but it only goes down to here. So I'm gonna need to add, just when I trace it out here, and then obviously extend this piece out here to fit. Just like that, we get the wheel arch. Clean it up just a little bit. Now again, I am going to add some more thickness in here to shift the whole wheel arch out that way. For this 
piece, we're gonna need to add the 90 degree bend over this way, as well as bending over here for the wheel arch. But this, we're gonna do a separate piece with the shrink and stretcher. There we go, that, uh, that gives us a rough template. So now we gotta go and put it in metal. All right, so got my piece taped down on the steel. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, pretty much lined up this side, which is the flat side with the flat part of the sheet. So I know I can carry that all the way down. Um, you can see I'm gonna run off down here at the end. Um, so this piece, I'm gonna have to do a separate small piece for that, um, but should be good with the rest of this. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this, move it over two inches for this curve and then start cutting out. All right, so to get the two and a half inches, I need to move the wheel arch over because of the centering of the Astrovan chassis. Um, you're not gonna wanna take a two inch off here because that's gonna lower everything, move over, but then also lower. What I wanna do is just shift straight over to the right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my template, going to just put a line where I had it, then measure out the two and a half inches, which is almost to the edge of the sheet. And then I will slide my template with keeping the edges true. So I had them. And then that will be my new mark my new line. And then what I'm gonna do is just bring it down here because I don't have that piece traced out yet, but that will give me plenty enough room. Do it. And then now we'll uh, start cutting it out. All right, so now I'm gonna use my electric shear to go ahead and start cutting. Gonna give myself plenty of extra room because I can always work it back. All right, so what I've done so I've taken the panel, I flipped it over, and I measured out my side where it needs to be bent and marked it at an inch and a quarter. And that's what I'll use for my lines for the brake. Get a lock down there. Just a hair. Lock this one down. And then we will bend it up. There's our bend, so now we'll go over and check it out. All right, so now that we got the panel prepped, we're gonna go ahead and cut out this section here so we can put the panel up and make sure everything fits. Uh, I'm not gonna do a final cut now, just cut out enough to get the panel up.
All right, so there's the panel removed. You can see this is the old panel that we cut off. Obviously a lot of rust down there. So we're still gonna have to patch in here, redo this support, but I'll give you an idea of what the panel looks like when it's on. This will go about right there. So that's the new panel. And you can see down here where my sheet wasn't big enough, I'm gonna have to do some trimming. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that off now. Where the bend is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this piece here. Straight down the side. That'll let us get this further back in. And then we'll bend another piece to fit in for here. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna cut that section out to test the fit. This bottom piece right here is riveted on, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that off. You can see that was pretty easy. Now we're gonna come in here and cut this opening right here. Now we take this panel, Fit that nice and flush. So now with the panel on, you can see that the wheel is going to look a lot more centered in the wheel well once it's done. Um, still, obviously, got to trim off that excess part right there, but. I gotta do the front end and make sure it's all rounded there and then I'll come in and cut out that. But next thing up, we'll be taking this piece here and building in a piece just to cover that spot and trimming off that. As you can see, it comes in here well. It's kinda hard to see with the lighting, but Panel fits in here, just along with this normal seam that this was on. It goes all the way down, and then that's where it starts to bend to come out. So that's where we'll start working on the next piece. All 
right, so we're gonna do the same thing, coming in here and trimming this out. We'll go ahead, take this marker here. So we know where we've got to cut that. And now we'll start working on this piece. Same thing as we know that we're gonna to have to add about an inch and a quarter all the way up here to be able to fold it over to then weld it to the support bar. All right, so again, trying to save as much of your sheet as possible. We're gonna trace out this panel here, this patch. Now this is the side that butts up against the panel we just made. So I am going to add one inch to bend it and then here I need to add one and a quarter Alright, so this side is a one inch bend, it needs to go up. There's our piece, it's got that there, it's got the bend at the bottom, and we'll trim this here, should be good to go. So let's go see how it fits. All right, so now we got this piece. Fit. Bring it down. About right there, we are gonna have to trim the back side. Right about there. Just to clear the angle. All right, so here's the panel pretty much in place. Gonna have to do a little bit of trimming and clean it up, but for the most part, it's extended now the two and a half inches out. Wheel well is nice and centered in there. We'll put it on the front end, do some more trimming on the wheel arch to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then this panel piece is in here. And what we'll do is we will punch some holes in there and spot weld that in. All right, so since this piece is rotted, I already went ahead and popped it loose from underneath here. Um, wasn't stuck to anything on this support. I got back in here and did some cuts, had to cut out the channel a little bit for clearance, but I'm gonna make a whole new piece of this runner. So we'll go ahead. So 
that piece is out. Looking at this piece, um, more than likely going to be best to replace it. It's got some heavy pitting in there. Uh, so we'll fab up a piece for that to fit it in. Uh, this channel runs from here. It's got a tab that runs up into here for support and then runs underneath for a good part of the way back. So uh, that'll be next. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut off this side because that'll get us to the bottom part of that whole channel as well as this side needs to be replaced anyways. As you can see, this is the channel that runs up to the front. We'll redo this whole channel here. It's got some rot here, so we'll patch this in. This is the door here that slides. Slide that, do new rubber, rubbers on the doors. But this is solid back in here. So this is good. We'll just hit this with some rust converter but as far as building metal we've got this little piece here this channel and then obviously this main piece which we're going to do anyways because of the real arches all right now i'm gonna hit this back side with some rust converter uh, just to go ahead and get it treated. We will prime it as well too. Alright, so now we're going to fab up this piece right here. Which is what the door slider sits on. There normally is this piece connects in, but as you can see, that's rusted through. So all in all, this piece from here to here measures 51 inches. Um, so a sheet of steel is 48 wide. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that just because it's easier to break it that way. Um, but I'll be going and doing one piece, showing you how to do that, and then obviously doing the other side as well too. So the measurements are one and five eighths here you got two and a half across and then one and five eighths down all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure out off of our sheet so again the first side is one and five eighths
So I found that my sheet metal brake, even though it's rated for a 16 gauge, does not want to bend this that easy. So what I'll do is go ahead and make relief cuts along these lines on both sides. So that way, when I put it in the brake, it'll bend a lot easier. All right, so now that we're at the brake, we'll go ahead and put this in, line up the first mark that's at an inch and five eighths. And again, this brake is a 48 inch brake, which is why I'm running these pieces at exactly 48. Um, even though the piece length is 51, I'll have to do an adjustment at the end and weld in a, a three inch section to get it all perfect. So this is now our somewhat finished product. As you can see, it's got the C channel to it. We'll go through obviously and weld in where we've done these relief cuts here. Um, weld those in, grind them down, make them all nice and smooth. But now this is uh, plenty sturdy enough for the door channel to sit on and support the door. All right, so now we're gonna do the extra three inches that we needed to give us the 51 inches. We've already got it marked. Because this is a smaller piece, we won't have to do relief cuts in it because the brake will bend. 16 gauge at a smaller length, but not the full 48 inches. Check and make sure we're at 90. Pass on that. Smaller pieces like this are a lot easier to bend and break. And then there's bent up a little bit too far. There's our extra three inch channel section that we'll add on to the 48 inches we just bent. All right, so the next piece we're gonna make is this rail that the door actually slides on. It's half inch tall, one inch wide, then the half inch, so it's a two inch piece bent over. Total is 39 inches long from here up to the front. As you can see from the old pieces, didn't go all the way up to the front, but close to it. So now we'll uh, bend this over. As you can see, they had rivets in here, um, holding these in. So we'll probably do something different for that, but uh, we'll make this metal piece first. All right, so got the old, door sill channel cut out as you can tell pretty rusted uh, made a new piece not sure where it went so this piece is right out here so it's one inch by two and a half by one inch so I made up a piece again on 16 gauge that will tie in right there. 
Then we'll take these rails. Put it in like that. Obviously still gonna patch this panel here too. Give it some more support, but I'll show you what it looks like in a second once we get it all uh, clamped together. All right, and here's the rocker. Obviously gotta weld everything in, but I'm gonna probably, uh, well this part here needs to come off because this is where it bends over, so I gotta adjust this piece. Then weld a bracket underneath here, probably clean this up a little bit. But ran this door down here, runs down into that piece up into there. So again, I'm gonna patch this here down at the bottom there, you can see it's pretty rusted through. Um, do a little bit of cleaning up there. All right, and here's everything before welding up. Uh, still gotta go and patch a bottom part into that panel. It's pretty rusted down there at the bottom, you can see. Um, and then clean up that drop down a little bit. But all in all, the new door slider slash rocker is pretty good. You can see the patch panel I made there. Run it down across here. It obviously welds up into that. Comes in into this piece. I do have to make a support just underneath the bottom that goes from there and angles up that, but that's pretty easy to do. And then next up is I'll make the panel that goes from here and stair steps up and make that all nice and clean. All right, so got this piece cut out here. Gonna weld that piece of the rocker and then obviously weld it in to the panel here, but to get rid of the rust that was below it. I'm gonna start on the step up into the cab. Um, factory piece started here, came up, bent over. Um, so what I'm gonna do is come up, over in, up, over, up, and then over. Uh, so it's gonna have a couple bends in it. Uh, may make it two piece. We'll see how it goes once we uh, start working on it. I'm gonna do it 21 wide because the astro body starts to curve up here. So I'm gonna do a flat piece first and then I'll work in on a filler piece for in here. All right guys, here's the patch panel I made. As you can see, it's a 1.75, 3.5, 5, 5.5, up to seven, and then I did a three and a quarter top lip 21 inches wide to fit in right in there so I'm gonna take this slide it in there we go we now have steps to get up in the step van. I will uh, go, I'll drill some holes in here. Um, do some plug welds on it to go into the Astro van body. I've obviously got to clean up all that. Still got to patch this part over here, um, but that's more of a cosmetic patch. This is more structural, um, obviously, because you're going to be putting your weight up on it. But as you can see, put my weight on it and it's not going anywhere so now uh, we're gonna do this cosmetic panel here and start welding stuff together and then repeat on the other side all right guys so here's the latest on the Metro I uh, got most of the sheet metal work done on the lower rocker and the steps going in so gonna weld it all up but as you can see it's a uh, Pretty much done. Um, gotta make one little filler plate for this section down in here. And then right in here, it's uh, about a 45 degree that comes up and welds into this piece. So gonna go a little trim on this piece, but all in all, the step up and in is done. Uh, this rear part here is ready to be welded in. And then I will do obviously the, the whole quarter. Um, from that section is gonna be redone, new wheel arch but all the, the stuff behind it is good to go. 
So thanks for watching the next video. We're gonna go ahead and get this all welded up and then start on the outer quarter panel skin and the wheel arch. Thanks for watching.